Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I'm Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card out of a deck and let you know of the signs that was lost for and the things that are coming up for the week. So this time, this week, we're using a spell casting deck. Now, everything's about intention. If you follow me enough, you know that there's no bad or good. It's how you, how you intend or how you claim it. So I love this deck. I've actually kind of only used it a couple of times, but I just love all decks. I love the art. I love everything about it. And to me, there's no good or bad on them because I feel like you give it, you give the intention to it. So, so this one is by uh, Flavia, Kate Peters and Barbara Micklejohn Free. So, and artwork is by Shavir Giesman, Giesman. So things coming up. I am still working on my retreat. I got the place. Now I'm just working on the rooms and this, and where how many people can come and the price and all that stuff. It will be locally to me, um, mostly Island Park, just because I feel like there's such a, there's just places on earth that have a certain vortex or a certain feeling. And Island Park to me, because of the volcanic calderas and the gyms are just, is just an awesome place. So that will be the first one. One day I will have one in Sedona probably, but that's not my first one's not gonna be there. So, okay, other things that are coming up. That's pretty much it for this month because May, I'm keeping it pretty low key because I'm going on a much needed vacation towards the end of May for my anniversary. And um, July, June, I will have Spirit Circles. And at Patreon, I still will be very active in there and still doing all the things, the, the Coffee with Carrie. I think that's coming up on the 17th the quarterly readings, the spiritual message, the monthly the monthly meditation, and you get to choose which tier you're in. So all of that's coming at a weekly reading. So we do like a kind of like a revamp of Carrie Connects um, and Patreon too. So as I shuffle the cards. Okay, so I have to just say too, when I was shuffling, when I was setting up the camera and everything, and I, I found a feather on my floor. And so, and it's not like a regular feather. It's just like a jewel. And I don't have any jewelry, so it must have been one of my clients. But it's crazy because it makes me, I just vacuumed. So it makes me wonder, but that's a sign. It's a sign, right? So there is a specific person on the other side that does use feathers for me. So they are, they are here today. Um, okay, so. Oh, this is cool. So spirit guide, this is the week or this is the time that you're, that's so crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. That's just right there. So some of the signs this week are going to be a feather because my, my, my guy does show up with a feather because that's why I love owls. So spirit guide, this means this week you are, if you have been trying to look at the back of the cards, that's awesome. This week, you are going to either be practicing or you're going to be guide. You're going to be, if you've been trying to reach your spirit guides or you've been trying to figure out your spirit guides, this is let, this is letting you know your spirit guides are going to be around you a ton this week and they're going to guide you. And also, this is a perfect time to go to my website under Carrie Connects and get the spirit guide meditation. Maybe I'll even link it for you in my stories today. There's a great meditation that helps you connect to your guides. If you haven't connected to your guides or you don't know anything about them, this is the week to be doing that. Very much so. If you do have a good relationship with your guides already, try and do something this week that um, helps you feel them more because they're going to be with you. I mean, they're with you all the time, but they're stepping it up this week, which is awesome because there's been a lot going on. Lots of my clients are are noticing they're hearing ringing in their ears, they're having dreams, and I think it's because our guides and our angels are working on our clairvoyance and our clairsentient. Um, no, our clairvoyance and our clairaudience, because 90% of people have claircognizance, which is just knowing, and clairsentient. And these are the two most prominent clairs in, in, among the collective, but they're the most questioned clairs too, because you feel crazy. So for some reason, spirits upping upping our stuff and making us um be clairaudient and clair clairvoyant so spirit guide's going to be with you a lot so take this week to notice when they're around notice the signs notice the symbols so feathers will be one because that's i found a feather before i did this 
Also too, bubbles or orbs, stars will be one. Also too, the number for your guides is gonna be 444. It's, that's angels, 333. 333 is for your guides and your ancestors. So notice if there's lots of threes around. And 444 can work too, but those are mostly protective angels, got and angels and and but ancestors and spirit guides are mostly 333. So, if your guides are wanting you to notice they're around and um notice that they're going to be there, then this is going to be a pretty big week or this is going to be a big frequency raise or a big up level for you. So there's gonna be a lot going on because up levels aren't always super rainbows and roses, right? Like, so you can tell some of my reels, I make fun of, of, of our awakenings and our up levels because they can be freaking hard. But I do feel like this week, there's going to be an even, an even bigger raise or it's kind of like, it's kind of like we've been through a ton and at the end of April, it kind of just like stopped and now, there's more coming, but it's it's not as chaotic. Like we're learning to deal with the chaos or we're learning to, we've been um, figuring out who we are and we believe in who we are. And so we become, we become, we're becoming more spiritually grounded and spiritually up level. And you know what? I'm just going to pull one more. I never do this, but I'm going to pull one more. Oh, travel. So maybe you'll travel this week. Maybe you won't. I am traveling at the end of the month, but maybe you'll be, uh, maybe you'll be practice. Maybe you'll be planning a travel date for this summer or for the end of the month. So I think these kind of just are separate, but maybe they're together too. Maybe you're gonna go traveling this week, and your guide is gonna be with you, and you're gonna go to a phenomenal place. So crazy because a lot of the cards I've been pulling for Patreon and for us is about a journey, this spiritual journey that we're on. So this is the week that our guides are going to be with us on this journey. This is the week that our guides are going to be traveling with us and being with us. And I like this too because it's going to give us more signs. Obviously a moon, it's either the beginning or the waning moon and also, also a boat, a boat on water with a staff. So those are the signs that you're going to see. Rarely, rarely pull two cards unless one falls out, but I just had the... I had the intuition to do so. So this week on your travels, your guides, your spirit guides are going to be with you. And if you're not traveling and you're doing a staycation, they're still going to be with you. Um, upload or try and work on your relationship with them. Ask them for signs. Ask them to show up for you somehow. Ask them to show you feathers and, and they totally will. Asking your guides for sign is completely different than asking God to show he's, he's proof that he's exist he exists asking your guides for signs is communication with your guides and your guides are here to help you stay on your blueprint help you stay on the blueprint you created that you wanted that the things that you wanted to experience that's what your guides are here to help you do so so start to build a relationship with them and they are going to be with you on this journey on the spiritual journey that you're taking your guides are going to be with you so so that's kind of cool so i love that okay i love you guys and i think that's about it um, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will talk to you next week.